Tesla and Elon Musk just put a lot of people's minds to rest about so many things. The $25,000 compact Model 2, full self-driving and AI advancements, Tesla's dedicated robo-taxi fleet which will be called Cyber Cabs by the way, the ride-hailing app which will look like this. He also gave clarity over battery concerns, the Cybertruck ramp up, Tesla's Optimus robot update and even confirmed the acceleration of the launch of cheaper cars. Plural. What wasn't mentioned was the new Model 3 Ludicrous Edition, aka the performance version, that's now available worldwide, today. That was a quiet launch, wasn't it? Just like Tesla's, I suppose. Whether you are new to Tesla or understand a bit about what they are up to, this video is for you. Let's get into it. First off, all of this info has just come from Tesla's Q1 2024 update. If you want to see the document for yourself, go to tesla.com, click discover, then investor relations where you will find the shareholder deck to download and take a look through at your leisure. There's a lot of data and numbers to sift through, but also loads of pretty pictures for some light relief at the end. It's my favourite bit. I'm not going to go through all the numbers because for me, short-term finances are of little interest when you zoom out and see the big picture. Yes, Tesla's finances have taken a bit of a hit over the past few months for various reasons, such as eco-terrorists setting fire to power lines and disrupting the factory, supply chain disruptions from ships, the usual seasonality within the car industry, interest rates, the cost of living insanity and many other factors. But understanding Tesla's roadmap into the future is way more interesting to me. So let's start with this, Tesla's ecosystem. Most car companies simply make vehicles, as represented by this car. Tesla, however, is building its own lithium refinery and also makes its own battery cells. It also provides energy storage products like this power wall for your home, plus much larger versions for utility companies called Megapacks. They also supply solar panels, have created AutoBidder software, which runs their energy storage systems. Tesla, of course, is rapidly growing its global supercharger network, which will gradually replace petrol stations and ultimately harness sustainable energy, providing clean power to their superchargers. Then there's Tesla car insurance available in a few different states in America, which will be coming to the rest of the world over time. The very hardware and software that will make Tesla's fully autonomous will also be integrated into the humanoid robot Optimus. But here's a breadcrumb into Tesla's ludicrous future, the user interface for the ride hail app, which Tesla has under development. This will allow Tesla owners to add their cars to the autonomous robo-taxi network and make money whilst they sleep. This so-called pipe dream has been a dream for some time, but it's getting closer to reality by the day. Just as doubters ignored everything else that Elon Musk claimed would be coming, that's pretty much all Tesla cars, including the Cybertruck, the Semi, etc. Tesla may deliver things later than expected, but they do deliver previously impossible products and services. There's enough evidence of that between SpaceX and Tesla that, quite frankly, I'm astounded more people don't give credit where it's due and believe what's coming. I guess you do need somewhat of an open mind to be able to visualise what's around the corner, a trait that's clearly not in everybody's wheelhouse. Tesla is evolving into more of an AI and robotics company and sounding more confident than ever about solving autonomy. This is Tesla's next massive disruption. As it continues dominating the auto industry, it's also leading the way with fully autonomous cars and will inevitably license this technology to major car companies too. Elon even said on the call that there's a good chance we sign more than one deal this year. But even a deal now would take at least three years to get implemented into the manufacturing process. The cameras, the computer that need to be added to the cars, etc. Just as computers used to carry the proud label Intel inside, I foresee all future cars having Tesla inside. Tesla is putting the auto back in automobile. That's good, isn't it? In the future, all cars will need to be smart cars. This will become obvious a method for survival as the benefits of autonomy become clearer. This is how Tesla is still seen and valued by Wall Street and others today. Just a car company. But in truth, it is clearly many, massive, growing businesses in one. Not investment advice, you understand, but good grief, what an opportunity for those that can see it. Here's a preview of what the ride-hailing app will look like in the Tesla app. Hit summon to get your nearest robo-taxi. See how far away it is, set the climate control, choose passenger occupancy and set a destination and the car will arrive at the preconditioned temperature at the precise time specified. Get in, freak out for the first time as it drives you, You'll even be able to stream your own music from your phone to keep you calm if you like, and happily get charged a fraction of the cost of a normal taxi. And all of a sudden, autonomy is as normal as getting into a lift and pressing the button. 
For the younger generation, there used to be a lift stroke elevator operator inside the lift with you, making it go up and down with a lever. Occasionally, accidents would occur and chop people in half. Until, of course, automated computer technology made it possible for users to safely control it themselves with buttons. Summoning a robo-taxi at the touch of a button will become just as normal. Autonomous cars are the future, and Tesla is at the forefront of this technology by a very wide margin. Their solution to autonomy, with just eight cameras and a computer, is not only becoming a proven solution, but also one that's scalable. Unlike the vast expense of other autonomous taxi companies such as Waymo and Cruise, that cost hundreds of thousands per vehicle to build, Tesla already has millions of vehicles on the road with all the necessary kit on board, ready to receive just another simple over-the-air update which will awaken Tesla's fleet of autonomous cars. There'll be something like 7 million autonomous ready Teslas on the road by the end of 2023. By the end of 24, coming up to 10 million, then 20 million, then 100 million someday. Just considering the financial implications of this autonomous software as a service revenue pouring in from multiple millions of vehicles, what would Tesla do with frankly obscene amounts of profit? I'd imagine there will come a time when Tesla will have no choice but to start paying dividends to shareholders. They just won't be able to spend the money quick enough. Of course, they could just hand it over to the government who could spend it in seconds. Elon mentioned that Tesla could do a share buyback, which would show strong confidence in their future, but with so many plans of global growth, I'd imagine they'd keep their cash reserves in case it's needed. If the past few years have taught us anything, it's that we have no idea of the upcoming challenges we face. Let's discuss CyberCab, Tesla's dedicated robotaxis. The official unveil for the CyberCab will be on the 8th of August. Guessing from the name, it might have some cyber trucky vibes. We already know it won't have a steering wheel or pedals. It will be built using the unboxed process which Tesla revealed on AI Day back in 2023. It'll be approximately half the cost to build when compared to the Model 3 and Model Y platform. And now we know that Tesla will be owning and operating the entire CyberCab fleet, i.e. as normies can't buy one. This will give Tesla full control over its constant flywheel of data, its feedback loop, the functionality of the whole system, the cleaning and maintenance of the vehicles, the public charging which will likely come from wireless pads on the ground I would imagine. Or just Tesla bots plugging them in, who knows. Having full control over this system is no surprise really as Tesla like to keep things as simple and as streamlined as possible. No need to sell them to other companies, fleets or people. And again, ultimately this means multiple millions of robotaxis around the world will be operated by Tesla. Just consider the profit margins of that alone and let that sink in. No driver to pay, potentially free energy from their own supercharger network if indeed they utilise renewable energy. Their own insurance and they'll probably be built by Tesla bots. Do you see the bonkers future that Tesla is building? If you do, hit that like button and help spread this video to others. Thanks for your support. Tesla's end-to-end -end service will consist of making the vehicles, the software, and running and maintaining the entire global system of robotaxis. Just to be clear, autonomy will be available for all Tesla owners to subscribe to, plus autonomous robotaxis stroke cybercabs owned by Tesla will be in operation. Both will be available on Tesla's Ride Hail network app. I'm going to be totally honest with you, I'm not often the smartest guy in the room, even when I'm on my own with just that spider. I mean, I don't know what I don't know, and what I didn't know until now was whether or not the compact $25,000 Model 2 had been cancelled or not. It was, in my view, in the realm of possibilities, with autonomy being tantalisingly close to being solved, and especially as Elon Musk originally wanted to go all in on the dedicated robo-taxi rather than the more affordable car, as documented in Walter Isaacson's book about him. Plus that Reuters article does appear to have got some things correct, does it not? The original version of the Model 2 has been shelved in favour of a hybrid version. Awful choice of word there, I know, not a hybrid powertrain of course. The new Model 2 will be built using both current manufacturing methods and use some techniques taken from the unboxed process of building cars that will be fully utilised on the robo-taxi production lines. It's pretty likely that Tesla will implement things like the 48 volt architecture, steer-by-wire, single-piece casting, etc. as a means of cutting cost, and it will be built at existing factories utilising the 3 million total vehicle capacity that Tesla has in existence today. The end result is not only Tesla accelerating the launch of their mass-produced affordable Model 2, but as mentioned in the notes, multiple affordable vehicles. Woo!
As it says, the new models will be built on Tesla's current manufacturing lines and use aspects of its current platform and next generation platform. Let's leave multiple vehicle speculation for another day. The good news is we should expect to see more affordable Teslas in the first half of next year. Fantastic. Looking at this wonderful cost grind image of the Cybertruck, you can see how Tesla squeezes every penny out of every component. Everything here is analysed for wastefulness, unnecessary components or even fasteners. Tesla is king of driving down production costs and happily for us, the consumer, this is only going to make Teslas more affordable as time goes on. Cybertrucks have now hit a thousand per week run rate, which is awkwardly a similar production rate to Rivian's R1T, only Tesla have been building the Cybertruck for just a few months compared to Rivian's three years. This is so cool, isn't it? I wonder if they'd post a Cybertruck kit car to the UK. I've got a spanner and some blue tack somewhere. How hard can it be? Speaking of carrying out tasks, we got an update for Optimus 2, which is still working on factory tasks in a lab before it's let loose on the factory floor, which is expected to be by the end of year. Elon confirmed their plans to be selling Tesla bots to customers by the end of next year. Oh, that's nice. Good luck, everybody. Might as humans realise that we are just the sex organs of the machine world? The necessary part of evolution that gives way to an AI-based robot-filled future? Oh, how terrifying or fun-filled the future might be. Still, it's an interesting time to be alive, innit? As we get closer to the influx of useful humanoid robots, there is no end to imagining what this means for us, planet Earth and beyond. Ultimately, Tesla bots will be an infinite labour force, which suggests that there would be no limit to the size of the economy. Again, what a time to be alive and witness the emergence of AI and robots. This is all happening far quicker than most realise. Tesla energy storage reached record deployment and is still accelerating. There is nothing limiting the ramp of battery energy storage systems with 12 to 24 months viability. There will come a time when Tesla energy overtakes its automotive side of the business in terms of profits. Yet nobody seems to care or understand this, but watching it grow is yet more evidence of Tesla's dominance into the future. Let's talk batteries. Oh, exciting, I know. Tesla design and manufacture 4680 battery cells. Their plans to become a massive player in the battery industry have not quite gone as expected, but now we know why. When Tesla announced their ambitious plans to build millions of EVs, there weren't enough battery cells to go around. The price per kilowatt hour of lithium batteries went nuts. Gigantic orders were placed by every car maker on Earth. But here's the twist. Other car companies are now scaling back their EV plans after coming to the bizarre conclusion that people want hybrids after all. No, they don't. You just want to keep selling engines because you can't produce decent comparable to Tesla EVs profitably. So you see, Tesla didn't want to take on the problem of becoming a battery manufacturer, but needed to hedge it against demand shocks so began developing their own batteries, the 4680. Fast forward to today then, and Tesla need not worry about rapidly ramping up their batteries with quite the same urgency as before, due to orders for global batteries declining dramatically, which now gives the added benefit of more competitive prices of battery cells for Tesla. Well, that worked out as a win, didn't it? Still, the 4680 battery production ramp increased between 18 and 20% from Q4 of 2023 to Q1 this year. Plus, they are staying ahead of battery requirements to fulfil all Cybertruck needs. As Tesla declared many months ago, we are no longer battery restrained for the foreseeable future. Wonderful. We knew this was coming already. I made a video about it when it was first leaked. But say hello to the all-new Performance Model 3, the ludicrous edition. 2.9 seconds to 60, 510 horsepower, lowered suspension, nicer wheels, sport seats, tidy little body kit, track mode, and a few new ludicrous accents here and there. Oh, and a price tag of just £59,990 here in the UK, or a ludicrously low $45,500 in the US with the generous $7,500 Inflation Reduction Act grant thing. That's just £36,500, by the way. <sighs> Oh, how I'd love one of these. I'll stop here before my keyboard gets filled with dribble. But what a nice surprise to have this unleashed before the earnings call, and equally odd that it wasn't even mentioned by anyone. It's been a slow start to get this to mass production. However, Tesla's electric semi is undergoing the finalisation of high volume production. The factory in Reno is expected to be producing them at scale by late 2025. Another game-changing, money-saving, safer, cleaner, autonomous-ready solution to improve the trucking industry. It's almost like Tesla are single-handedly improving the transport and energy sector. Oh, that's right, they are, with barely any recognition for doing so. 
This strange image is Tesla's Dojo supercomputer. It's used for machine learning training applications. It's built from the ground up to handle AI workloads, particularly video training, using data collected from Tesla's fleet of vehicles. In today's world, data and computing power is king, and Tesla are no longer compute restrained. As they have 35,000 H100 chips active, growing to 85,000 by the end of the year, and have already increased AI training compute by more than 130% in Q1. And yes, some of that was over my head. Before this video gets too long, here's a few other interesting points made by Elon Musk on the call. Elon confirmed that Tesla will have higher sales this year than last year, and that Q2 will be a lot better than Q1. That alone was nice reassurance to hear. Elon also admitted that Tesla did overcomplicate the car sales process, but is now back on track to a buy a car in under a minute interface. He says that Tesla is taking the majority of his work time, and that it's rare he takes an afternoon off in a week. He also notes it's time to reorganise the company in order to grow for the next phase. The future is bright. With all this good news, you'd expect the stock price to shoot up through the roof, wouldn't you? But as usual, nobody gets in, it's down to... Oh, would you look at that? It's up 12% as of recording. Some folks are starting to wake up as to what's coming. If you sat through this with utter amazement to either Tesla's future or just baffled by the fact that I believe it, I want to hear from you. How do you feel about summoning a robo-taxi to your door? Would you buy a Tesla for $25,000? Or in your view, is none of this happening and you think I'm insane? If you want some extra content from me, access to Q&As and even meetups as I'm doing soon with X light shows and a few Patreon supporters, Join us on Patreon, link in the description below, and thanks so much to those that have so far. It really helps. I'm Will, this is the Tesla Jigsaw. Thanks so much for watching. Bye for now.